Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a journal with me and I'm finally pulling out some watercolors and some fun supplies to work with. This is my current journal that I'm working in. I have this little pouch that I've been carrying pens around in. I'm obsessed with my current journal. I'm having so much fun filling it up and I can't wait for the journal flip through of this one. I also just got a new journal today that I want to show you guys because I'm so in love with it. It's actually like a locket journal and it is so beautiful. This is what it looks like. It even says journal on the side and the back. The brand is Ebu from New York and then let me show you the inside as well. It is so beautiful. And like, look at the pages. It is so pretty. And I'm just in love with this journal. It also just makes me feel like a little kid with the little locket. So I'm excited. I think that might be my next journal. We'll see. Yeah, let's just get into it. I just go in immediately and start adding color. Just whatever color, putting it down, getting something on the page. A lot of what inspired me to start doing watercolor in my journal recently was Pocket Journal with Pam and journalers like that who add a lot of color to their page. And I know Pam is someone who loves to use watercolor in their journals. just start to curl but I just try to keep it flat and let it dry. I love how crinkly the pages are after watercolor um, because the pages get wet and I love that crinkly feeling. I think that's something I get from my mom. Now this I might layer with some distress spray just because it's some yellow and this will brighten it up. You can also add some texture. Unless I blend it in, I might actually just blend it in. This is really going to have to dry. I'm just going to squish the pages together and let it dry together. Oh god, this really wrinkled this page. Oh my god, do you see this? I'm gonna see what I can do to this craft paper because I don't know how well the watercolor will adhere. Like, or like show up, like it's not really showing up. I'm pretty messy about the watercolor. It's like not very particular for me. Okay, these pages are so wrinkled. What happened? I mean, I get what happened, but like still, that normally doesn't happen. But you can see how when I put the pages together, it I don't know, it looks kind of cool. And this isn't really adhering well. It's kind of just destroying the paper. So I'm not going to do watercolor on this page. But I love watercoloring like these line pages since they're pretty plain. Also, right now I have kind of a weird setup for filling. So I really need to switch that up sometime soon so that it's uh, a little easier for me to film like a kind of a journal with me
I wish I had a dryer, but I don't think it's very important. It's not very necessary to have a dryer when working with watercolor. It can just help if you don't want to get the watercolor on different pages, but I don't mind if things blend together and get on different pages that maybe I didn't intend to, like this, because my journals are kind of messy like that, and I'm okay with that. This is spreading, and that's okay with me. I think I'm going to spray some Distress Spray on here. I'm going to use my red one. That's gonna have to dry. I like the texture the Distress Spray makes. I've heard good things about the Distress Crayons, which I'm interested in, and I'm thinking about investing in those. Right now, I'm just continuing to play around with watercolors and the couple Distress Sprays that I have. I just have the yellow and the red one. The downside of Distress Sprays is that they take a while to dry for when you're able to write on it, so might play around with some other ink like distress inks like ones that you like rub on so it dries faster okay now we're back to the yellow okay this page just completely destroyed i don't know what happened here it normally doesn't happen so i don't know what i'm gonna do about that like these pages are normal but then this one is like a crinkly mess Okay, so I also love laying down some stickers. I love my sticker book. I've been using these. So I can just go in, I really like these, and put some on the page. I don't always like to lay down stickers before and pre-decorate because a lot of times I like it to be specific to the day. But lately I've just been going in and doing some pre-decoration just because it's fun. And that way if I'm on the go writing I'll have something on the page for days. Uh, I love this because it has the hint of the green from this page and then the red. Okay, this page is ripping up. This page is ripping apart. I might just need to rip it out. And then I can use this paper to glue in as like a scrap paper. So I won't get rid of it. I'll leave in a little scrap as a little reminiscent of it. It makes it look um, fun and textured. So today is Monday. I have written this page and then here for the rest of the day. I want to use some of this paper. I'll also have some scrap craft paper to use.
I'm just going a little crazy and putting some dots down on the page. Sometimes it's nice to have something to write over. It destroys the fear of the blank page. And it's just fun when you have writing over some watercolor. It, it just looks cool. This I might give a second to dry. Just putting down a little red since it goes with the theme of this spread. I'll probably write over that so it won't be as noticeable. I also got some really cute washi tapes yesterday that I want to show. Move this out of the way. So one, I got these stickers, which are crochet stickers, which is super exciting because it's always like about knitting and I'm a crocheter, so this is very excited to me. And then I got these two. This one is from Pipstick, which is the same brand as the stickers. Pip stickers, Pipstick. This one, I don't know who it's by, but I got them both at a place called The Paper Herald in Baltimore, and it's a small local stationery store, and I'm just so obsessed with these. And then also, one of my favorites lately has been these pens. These are the Pentel sign pens, I believe, and I've just been collecting these bit by bit. So yesterday I got two more colors. I got an orange and a tannish brown, and so I've sort of just been building up this collection chunk by chunk and i just love them they're nice i think i found them through pocket journal pam i used them like here but my favorite way to use them is how pam does and like writing little subtitles about the day with them so let me see if i can find another example but like this this title and this title are both with them. This is with them. Um, this, these like subtitles. This one, I've been using them a lot. Here, here's like a perfect example, and I would say this is how Pam uses them like round pictures, kind of, you yeah. know. So yeah, that's how I've, I've just been loving them. I've just been using a lot in general. That kind of messed up the blue there, but it's fine. I don't really care um, it, if these things are imperfect. I wanna show you how I've been using watercolor in my journal. I did like these squiggles, which were fun. This, I was just playing around with texture and I made these like dots at the bottom. It's pretty random, but these were these two that I just showed are ways that I pre-decorated and then I just used into my spread. This, I made this whole spread like with different colors. I, I did use some distress sprays as well as I think gouache. When I say watercolor, I also use gouache at the same time. I use both. I really like how this turned out. I think it's really fun. Oh, and then also this background is like a purple blue gradient. So yeah, I, oh, also here, here's a big one. I decided to do a little to-do list in these dots that I made. I originally was going to write over it normally, but I kind of made it a spread out of it. And then I just love how this turned out. I didn't even want to put anything on the page because I just liked it alone. That's how I've been using watercolor in my journal lately, as well as like my some different stationery, like my pens. I've been loving my pens and washi tape. So that's how my journal's looking right now. I'll flip back through the spreads that we did, the pre-decorated pages that we just made. These are kind of crumpling them because it's still kind of wet. But yeah, I definitely recommend you try using some watercolor in your journal. It's a lot of fun and it can switch up how your journal looks and make it feel more full. With the blank page, it, it can feel a little more lonely and empty and sad. <laughs> and adding some color can really just add some fun to your spreads and liven up the pages. That's how my journal's going. 
Hopefully you enjoyed this video um, and got something out of it. I am working on shop update stuff, so get excited for some stationery stuff in the future with Star Stationery Supply. And hopefully I'll just continue to keep uploading. Let me know any video suggestions. I really want to do a stationery collection video. So yeah, we'll see how that goes and if that happens. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Mm -hmm.